he is just I, I we got a lot of oil on the track hoots we gotta when I get the uh, the uh, jet dryer out and some uh, speedy dry in three and four hello everyone my name is Matt and welcome back to my YouTube channel today we're gonna start the first race of our championship mode driving as Eric Almarola to see if we can get him into the playoffs and hopefully secure him either a regular season championship or the end of year championship. I actually don't really know what to call it since NASCAR is so screwed up uh, in this day and age, but uh, well, let's get started. First off, let's go through my championship mode settings. Uh, the AI difficulty will be at 104. Now, obviously, with NASCAR Heat 3, 704 has attempted to bump up the difficulty of the AI, and especially at plate tracks, they are pretty darn difficult. So, 105 seems way too high, 103 is kind of in the middle, but with 103 difficulty at uh, intermediate tracks, it, AI is a little bit too easy there. So, we're going to keep it at 104. Hopefully that's not too hard or too easy. It's going to be reasonable for um, competing with the pack and whatnot and the type of car that we have, especially in real life. We should be able to compete for top 15s, top 10s, and whatnot. Um, so that's where we're going to set it at. Hopefully that works. If not, we'll change it if need be, but it's set at 104. Our race length will be 25% with the wear at times 2. I'm not too sure about that. We may have to pit in... The final stage of the race with it set at times two, but we'll see. I don't know. Uh, I haven't really tested out the settings, so if things do change, I'll let you guys know at the beginning of the video. Our flags will be set at strict, except for road courses. I think I'm going to bump that down to relaxed yellows, but for every other track, they're going to be at strict. We're going to do these stages, and we're just gonna, we're not going to do session qualify. We're just going to do quick qualify. So um, at every track, it's just one shot, one lap, um, to get a quick lap down. Uh, for the rest of the modes, damage will be set to light. I mean, damage is really tough since you can destroy your car, go into the pits and fix it, and, you know, you you can fix the car completely, so uh, there's no reason in doing full damage when it's like that. So we'll just keep it at light. Stability for me is off. Uh, we are not going to use or always use custom setups. I will use the presets and whatnot. Um, and we will keep it at manual transmission. Yes, we are going to drive as Eric Almirola, uh will use his quote-unquote Daytona scheme. Um, obviously, if you're not a big Almirola fan, you don't understand his paint scheme that much, but it pretty much changes every single race. A lot of people don't notice that, but uh, obviously for a guy like myself who pays attention to the detail, uh, yeah, I notice that stuff. But uh, after the September DLC, we got his Smithfield Prime car and his uh, Coca-Cola 600 car. That's what we got in the game currently. We're going to try to be realistic with paint schemes. Like the first five races or so was with his Smithfield Daytona car. So we will stay with that. Um, let's go ahead and look. Can we look at the schedule? We can just look at upcoming races. So again, we're doing the full schedule. So it's every single race leading off. Um, to the playoffs there at Indianapolis or the final regular season race and then moving on into the playoffs but first we have to get into the Daytona 500 and uh, hope to win it let's go that does not look like Eric Amarola okay I am going to completely skip practice because we don't need practice for a plate track um for a setup, I think most of the setups are set at the uh, first one, at uh, very stable, but we're going to do our setup, I think at four, it's going to be kind of loose, um, but still tight at the same time. I mean, when we're racing in the pack, we're, you know, we're trying to hit cars and whatnot, but we do make contact if we don't spin out and whatnot, and we don't lose the rear end or anything like that, so we're going to keep it at setup four, and, uh... Let's go out for a qualifying run. Now, obviously, this is um, the Daytona 500, so it's technically pole qualifying at first. So, and pole qualifying is the old qualifying system in NASCAR where we run two laps around the 2.5 mile super speedway. So, let's go up to speed and uh, just try to go for the pole. All right, here we cross the line. 
to complete lap one. It's going to be a 46.7. I think can go a little bit quicker. Just trying to stay off the apron there in the turns, but we'll try to get a little bit closer without touching it. Once we touch that apron, that yellow line it scrubs off a ton of speed. <laughs> Almost touched it right there. Not too bad. We dropped went a little bit slower there in turn two, but hopefully we can pick up more speed down the back stretch. Almost 200 miles per hour in the corner, or going into turn three, I should say. Getting through turns three and four. Four. Ooh, okay, I don't know. I kind of messed up there. I just kind of let the car slide up the track. Is it going to be quicker? It will be quicker. 29th. Not b <laughs> I mean, not bad considering the AI are kind of screwed up here with single car runs. I'm assuming the leaders did 45 second lap times. Yeah, that's, that's unrealistic because you do 45 second lap times in the draft. So, I don't know. That's not my issue to worry about with 704. But, hey, you know, 29th. We finished ahead of, or we qualified ahead of a bunch of guys. Chase Elliott was starting the poll. Uh, very interesting. Welcome to the 60th an annual <laughs> Daytona 500. Screwed that one up. Uh, De Benedetto. Uh, they've been working on their car. That's it. Okay. No one said to the back or anything like that. We're starting 29th. Let's get the Daytona 500 underway. Holding it steady in the Geico restart box. We're green at Daytona. Right, we have to be careful here. Uh, goal is not to bump anyone, run into anyone. We also need to really protect our line and to make sure no one else passes us. We're gonna stay here in the bottom. Stay behind Casey Kane. Ooh, they check up. They check up. Kyle Larson almost went to the wall there. Uh, buddy, the St. Dirk track racing. Oh man, I'm slow. I'm slow. I'm slow. Yeah, I'm trying to hang tight here. Oh, I'm really slow. I cannot. I cannot suck up to the. Oh, Jones is gonna close the gap on me there. It's probably like, screw you. You're not, <laughs> you're not picking up enough speed. Oh, I shouldn't be letting off. Can the lead receive even more speed? Oh man, this is not good at all. Uh, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I'm just, <laughs> I am not. I, I don't feel quick at all. Oh, there we go. Now we gotta run. Here, screw you, Jones. I'm looking inside. Almost wrecked it. <laughs> Almost wrecked it. Hey, I moved him out of the way. Uh, actually, that kind of helped him. Oh, well, screw it. Uh, uh, side draft. We're going to get the side draft off of Eric Jones. I really don't think that exists in this game, but we can only dream. We'll dream and believe that it's there. Uh, I mean, we haven't... I mean, we moved up a few positions from where we started. Behind us is kind of... Oh, that was a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, Jones. Had to go into third person there. I'll probably go back and forth between roof cam and third person just to make sure I'm not running into anyone. Well, I guess I could look back. I mean, that's why they had the feature. <laughs> I should probably use it. Um, Larson's still really running up high there. Doesn't really want to work with the field. Oop, touch the apron. Good. It seems like we stall out off the corner. We just can't get a, a good run. I'm afraid to j to jump out of the draft because then cars behind are going to want to fill in that space and I'm going to lose it. So not too much action. We're just going to kind of stay in line. Whoa! The car just got tight there. Thankfully we didn't wreck it. Oh my gosh. I don't know how Larson didn't wreck it either. We manage. Yeah, no, he's still there. Just seeing a bunch of uh, loves travel stop in our face. Oh, the two front row guys are, well, not in the front row. <laughs> oh, Larson, I want that. It just, the car plows so much off of two. I think it, well, two and four is when it really plows. Just kind of riding with the, with that Jones boy behind us and the next, next Jeff Gordon in our rear view. All right, well, Larson finally uh, decided to cut me off and uh, on the bottom with me. Ooh, let off a little too much. Really good. That was a pretty fast lap time. Uh, now I get such a run coming off of two, but that's probably not a smart thing to do. Ooh, Trevor Bain. I saw that, and he kind of ducked down, tried to <laughs> get behind Larson there. Looks like Larson's gonna try to go to the bottom, but 
Well, he's kind of got a run. I think he's made it three wide on McDowell. Looks like it. So we'll follow Larson here. Whoa, McDowell kind of checked up a bit. Oh, <laughs> wasn't that much of a checkup, but we're going. Was a case of gain up there. It was like trying to break the draft or something. That was that was bizarre. Okay, we made our way up to P22 or behind Logano here. Might as well work with our Ford guys. Uh, I don't know. It looks like a mess. It's a mess up here. They're th three wide, two deep. Oh, I don't know who that was. I almost killed Danica Patrick there. It was, um, I think, Almondinger. see a bunch of click list. Is that his name of a sponsor? <laughs> I forget the name of his sponsor. Right. I don't know if we're three wide. The Gano's just pinning me down. Hey, buddy. Hey, I know you there. Or screw uh, Clint Boyer out. He's left alone in the high lane there. Okay, somehow Danica Patrick had like no draft on the back straightaway, and she was fine. So that's <laughs> that's great. I'm jealous. I wish I had that quick of a car. I love how we're working with Larson right now. We, I mean, he started it back there with me, and I've just been following him up to the front. So I'm just gonna follow him. Obviously, he knows what he's doing. Oh, I've lost draft. I think I've lost some draft. Oh, Larson, come back down. Thank you. Oh, Clint didn't, Clint didn't want to help me, and I ran into Suarez. Come on, Clint. That's that's not what I want. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Stenhouse also came down to help. Yeah, I'd rather have you Ford guys with me. Screw the Chevys and Toyotas. No one likes them. Whoa, Stenhouse checks up a little bit. All right, well, we screwed uh, Stenhouse out, and uh, we're going to follow uh, Larson again. Ooh, Clint. Oh, I was trying to protect... I was trying not to block Clint, but I just checked up a whole lot. All right, well, <laughs> we're just going to have to use the draft and pick our way back up. It's five to go in stage one. Uh, I don't know. I guess our goal could be let's try to get up to the top ten before the stage ends. Get some stage points. Those valuable stage points. Uh, I think, is Larson going to pit? Okay, that looked a little suspicious. I think he's starting a new lane on the bottom. Uh, which actually kind of worked. I was very skeptical of that, but that worked. And his teammate came down. Ooh, never mind. Hey, McMurray, stay up there. Stay up there. No, don't you do that. Oh, I'm going to get upset with you now. Oh, I hit. Okay, there. McMurray's using the 95 there. And we got uh, Wallace. There, too. And we kind of blocked in here. I want to go, go somewhere. Do something. Ooh, uh. McMurray, I'm there. Oh, yes, there we go. We quote unquote side drafted McMur McMurray. And uh, we're trying to get behind yet again Larson. Just, you know, following Larson here. Oh, I heard someone blow a tire. I heard a squealing there. Oh my gosh. Oh man, we're about to get freight trained by so many cars. I lost a ton of speed there. Seems like a lot of guys are trying to use the bottom. Uh, trying to get the draft back up. Two more laps before the end of the stage. Not too sure what's going on. I'm, so, through my head right now, I'm trying to figure out what will happen when we pit. I might take, like, right sides and, like, a can of fuel. Because I didn't realize how little gas we're using up. But besides the fact we're coming up to one to go in the stage. Oh, we left out Larson. <laughs> I'm really not... Aware of what's going on. Whoa! Blaney checked up a bunch there because Umdinger kind of blocked him there. One lamp to go in the stage. Hey, that that's 10th place. We get one stage point. Oh, Umdinger almost cut us off. Almost sent us flying in the infield. Ooh, touch the apron. That's not good. Oh, we really want some stage points here. We're going to race aggressively. I mean, that's what stage racing does to these drivers. We're behind uh, no, uh, no talent because his daddy gets to pay for it, Austin Dillon. Uh, we want the 10th in the stage. Trying to get, not to get too green and go below him. Oh, but we did. Oh, I have to defend uh, Almendinger here. Ooh, I will. The most we'll get is 10th. Not too bad. Top 10 in stage one. That's one stage point. And I think our teammate won this stage. Oh, uh, yeah, Kevin Harvick did one. Okay, everyone's pitting. Okay, I'm not too sure what I'm doing right here. A can? 
because we may have to pit at the end of stage two and right side tires because the tires aren't wearing out that much. So we'll accept that. Oh my gosh, we're the leader. <laughs> oh, that's not what I was expecting. Um, I'm assuming everyone else took four tires, but here we go. We're the leader. We're leading this Daytona 500. We got two of our teammates, Kevin Harvick and Kurt Busch near us. And uh, wow, what a jump. Oh, that's not what I, that's not what I like. I'm gonna drag the brakes a little bit because their help is gonna be needed. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna work with me. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna hope. I mean, I'm not gonna try to block them, but I don't know. Just gonna have to keep this bumper really wide if we want to keep this lead. I'm gonna just stay in the bottom here. Uh, we've kind of protected the two. Uh... Okay, they're not. It doesn't seem like they're advancing on me at all. So we've kind of stopped their momentums there. Uh, Harvick's going to get a look on the outside. He's probably going to get a run out the outside, too. Oh, and everyone else is going high. Oh, they just shuffled me out. They just shuffled me out, man. Oh, Johnson let me up. No, we're dying. We're dying. Oh, no. Oh, we kept it straight, but Kyle Busch is absolutely dead. And that's a caution. Oh, come on. Yeah, I kind of I kind of saw that coming. I noticed that they were going to move up high, and I did. I wasn't ready for that. Dang it. Okay, well, it looks like we've got some cosmetic damage, so I'm not going to pit for that reason. Okay, Kyle Busch with caution. He didn't, he didn't pit or anything. That's wonderful. Whatever, screw it. <laughs> Let's go green. I didn't want to start out front anyway, so... I, I don't know. I really don't know what to say, but we're good. We didn't completely trash the car, so let's keep going. Oh, Johnson got shuffled out big time. Oh, the high lane is not going anywhere. Now I'm shuffled out. Oh, Blaney actually let me down. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, cool. We're on the bottom. I was afraid we were going to be on the high side for the rest of the stage, but... We worked our way to the bottom. We'll stay behind McMurray because apparently we like the uh, Chip Ganassi racing uh, cars today. Oh, the leaders are they're gone. Like the top looks like the top eight have pulled away. Top nine. So we'll probably regroup. The draft is pretty powerful. So we'll work our way back up. <laughs> Why is he just running up there? Oh, now Paul Menard's going to try to share his draft with him. Bad idea, guys. Bad idea. Oh, now I got the draft. Ooh, wow. And I tried to cut below uh, Denny Hamlin there, and uh, again, almost run me over. Everyone's just trying to put me off in this race. Ooh, I see Stuart House Racing drivers up high. No, you guys just stole my idea. I was going to help them. I was going to share draft with them. I'll try to stay with Kurt here so we can hold it. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, Larson's going to take that spot away from me. Jeez, this guy's almost scraped the wall coming out of two. Um, I'm holding on to Kurt's draft, but in the corners we get really slow. I'm not, sure sh I'm not too sure how long I'm going to stay up here. I'm kind of concerned that the bottom lane behind us is going to group up a bit, so... It's, uh... Probably won't be able to get down to the bottom of the track if that's the case. Uh, we're gonna bump drive Kurt Busch a little bit, push him up to our other teammate, Kevin Harvick. That's what teammates are for. Now about to be a bad teammate because I'm gonna go to the bottom. Haha, <laughs> sorry Kurt. <laughs> we'll follow Casey Kane. Ooh, you checked up. Um is that Ryan Blaney? Oh no. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the cars. Oh, I moved down the line a little bit too soon. Oh no, we're dying. Oh, that's inside wall. We hit it. Oh, yuck. Oh, wow. Okay, that's the end of the stage. Oh, okay. So I guess Ryan Blaney had an issue and just decided to slow up the field, and I was stuck on whatever car was ahead of me. So, yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> two cans, four tires. Definitely repair this. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, CHS estimated fuel. Oh, good. So I think after this, we should be good for the rest of the race. Don't have to pit again. 
So yeah, just load up with four tires, four fresh stickers, two cans of fuel, repair. I don't know if we need to tighten it or add some wedge, which is actually pretty low. Let's just go ahead and add some. It's been kind of squirrely, so we'll go with that. Ah, uh, yuck. Okay, well now we have to start from the back and work our way back up. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. I wish I saw Ryan Blaney much sooner, but oh well. Let's go with the flow. Green flag is out. Let's work with the back runners and try to work our way up to the front. Oh, wait, is that? Oh, I thought that was Larson. Um, that's uh, 70, or 73, <laughs> the 37 of Chris Busher. Oh, I was just looking for cars that might work their way up to the front. Oh, don't tell me we're going to lose the draft. Timmy Hill, you going to help me? Oh, never mind. They slowed up. That's very good. Alrighty. Never mind. We don't need, don't need his help. Uh, Alright. 20 to go. We're going to get to the rest. Do I have some arrow damage? Yeah, 99% arrow. I guess it's it's not going to fix itself. So um, It's not going to feel the same, but it's mainly fixed. Yeah, I mean, if we just stay in the bottom, we'll probably work our way up to the front. I hope I'm hoping. Just at least get us a top ten finish. That's all, that's all I want. Okay, they were checking up. I had to just make a move. Let's just see how that works. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Yeah, I should have went with my uh, gut there and uh, stayed in line. Crap. Like so much crap. I got enough draft on them to where I don't fall back, so that's good. But. Yikes. Okay, well, one, that was probably a bad time to pass someone, and yeah, we learned our lesson to just stay in line. Oh, don't tell me they're wrecking in front. They're wrecking in front. That's Ty Dillon that just went around. All right, caution's out. Of course Ty Dillon's bidding, because I think he just blew a tire. Uh, yeah, I heard it down the back stretch. I heard a tire squeal. I'm like, what is that? And then I just see the 13 go sideways. I'm like, no, save me. Hey, other people pitted. Wow, a lot of other people pitted, including Clint Boyer, Kurt Busch, our teammate. Uh, wow. Okay, well, we gained some positions there. Oh, a lot of front runners are behind us. That's not good. Oh, boy. Well, this should be interesting. We got a lot of quick guys who also just pitted, so it makes them even quicker. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get to the bottom. I want to get to the bottom. No way, no. Danica's really slow. Oh, uh, never mind. The bottom did not get a run, so I couldn't. That gap behind Clinton Boyer closed up. Oh, this is not where you want to be. No, Danica. Go go someplace else. We don't need you. I'm pushing the absolute heck out of Hemrick right now, but I'm not getting anywhere, so I'm just trying to lay off a bumper. There's no, there's no gap whatsoever in this pack. Like, it is not spread apart one bit. Except for the lead. Nah, you can't even say that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm trying not to... Yeah, I just want to get to the bottom, that's all. But we're not really advancing. Inside lane isn't advancing. The high lane is just slowly dropping, so... Oh, hey, a gap. Yay! We've made our way to the bottom of the track. And, well, I guess we'll follow Larson again. Maybe uh, Larson is a good luck charm in this race, so if we follow him, we might be able to work our way to the front. Hey, there you go. Perfect timing. I think someone's got an issue. Oh, and we do have a caution. We kind of ran to... Uh, someone just blew up. Uh, that is the uh, 34 of uh, Michael McDowell. Yeah, it is a 34, so... I think I kind of ran to Danica there, but... Um, we got no damage, so we got away with that one. He is just, I, I, we got a lot of oil on the track. Hoots, we got a, I, mean, I got the, uh, the uh, jet dryer out and some, uh, speedy dry and three and four. Oh, man, he's, I wonder if he's cooking some bacon in his car or something. He's still smoking. Wait, no, no, we got to get him off the track. He's in the high lane too. No, this is not very good. This is not good at all. Yeah, he's going to hold up the field. <laughs> Pretty sure Caution's gonna come out right away. Uh, why did he not get off the track? Come on, buddy, you're just putting more oil down. All right, well. Oh my gosh, you see him all the way back in the trial pool. I can't. Wow. Okay. Um, there's a glitch. 
Uh, I don't know. Let's see if caution comes out for that or not. But uh, we're going to forget about that and, uh, you know, work with uh, De Benedetto? I don't know. I'm, I'm really confused right now. Oh, crap. they got to run on the bottom. Oh, my lord. But obviously they didn't help me, so that sucks. Eight to go in the Daytona 500. Really weird and bizarre Daytona 500, that's for sure. Um, somehow De Benedetto, like, pulled away? I don't know how that works. Um, Sorensen is not working with me. Is this the whole pack? No, there's a small pack on the other team, too, right now. Uh, I'm not getting any speed, guys. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, it seems like cars behind don't work with you. They just kind of slow up. So, yeah. Alright, cool. Well, we let Sorensen pass us. That was embarrassing. And Hemrick. So, at least we got some guys to draft with. Seven to go in the day. 2500. Um, we're in Clint. We're just getting swallowed up by a bunch of cars. Okay, it looks like the 34 is in the pits. Yeah, I think that's him. So, we probably don't have to deal with him, but... Uh, yeah, wow. That kind of screwed us over because that left a huge gap between, was that, 25th up there? Is so the 55 or the 15? I don't know what's what, but, uh, looks like we're stuck here just battling for a 20th some position. Come on, Boyer, stay in line. Stay in line. We're not going to get anywhere if you just try to pass him. Wow, I just clipped the apron. That was stupid. Oh, I should have huge lag spike there, uh, or frame drop, I should say, when I hit Boyer. That was a little bizarre. Uh, sorry, Boyer, I did not want you to go up over there. Mm, I should stay behind him. That's okay. We got the draft of Ben Rhodes. Is that Ben Rhodes? Oh, Harrison Rhodes. The other Rhodes. Harrison Burton? Oh, well, I'm confused. Okay, I worked my way up to uh, 26th with two to go left in the Daytona 500. Uh, yeah. Um, hmm. It was a very anticlimactic uh, race. Uh, <laughs> wow. Now what I was hoping for. So much for that uh, top 10. McMurray, what are you doing? The draft is not down there. Okay, no, Harrison, you're not going to help him. Screw you guys. Screw all the Chevys in this path. And there's like, what, one Ford? Two Fords? Two Fords. Any Toyotas? No. Good. Screw the Toyotas. We're coming up to the one to go mark, sponsored by Credit One Bank, because this video will probably be demonetized, so I need someone to support the video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. White flag's out. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to pass uh, Rhodes for 25th, but uh, we can try our best here. I'm, full, I'm literally full throttling this right now. And I can't catch up to him. I've been full throttled for the past, like, four laps or something. And I can't catch him. So, I don't know. We'll see if we can catch him coming out of, th of four. The pack up there for the lead is still big. I can't tell who's leading. Oh, I touched the apron. I'm stupid. Wow. Good job, Matt. Good job. Choking away uh, everything. Oh, I don't like my Murray pass here. Oh, well, that's the end of the Daytona 500. That was uh, very lame and boring. 26. Yikes. <laughs> so here's the wreck. Uh, yeah, of course me and Kyle Busch got into it. That was uh, very unfortunate. Oh, yeah, that was a heck of a spin, too. Oh, oh yeah, I did clog the inside wall there. Hey, well, that will do it for uh, Daytona. Uh, we finished 26th, and... Oh, my AJ Allmendinger won? Oh, uh, you've got to be kidding me right now. TJ Kenny... Timmy Hill finished fifth. Timmy Hill finished fifth, and DJ Kennington, I believe, was 10th. Uh, that is absolutely sad. Greg Golding, 11th? That's, that's just really sad. But that's plate track racing. Casey Kane was the fastest lap of a 45.018 second lap time. Kevin Harvick led the most laps of 15. Timmy Hill on the move is there at 30 seconds to finish that. Yikes. And tough break for Ryan Blaney starting fourth, finish 40. That will conclude the Daytona 500 finishing at 26. The next race is at one of the oldest surfaces in the NASCAR schedule that is at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Until the next video, my name is Matt. 
I'll see you guys next time.